Hello viewers, welcome to the part 2 of the tutorial where we will design a simple analytical report in Power BI using the data from a MySQL database. So in the previous video, we connected to the MySQL database from Power BI and pulled some sample employee data. If you have not watched previous part, please watch that first to get a better understanding on today's episode. Now, in the Power BI console, we are at the default view or the report view, which is the canvas on which we will design our report. So in the right hand side, you will see a lot of visualizations available. And from that, we will first select the most simplest, the table view. And once you click there, the table visual will be automatically available in your canvas. And then we will select our fields from this table which is available with our employee data first we will select the department you can drag and drop here or you can click on this checkbox here which will automatically add that to this report and we can see that the department information is available then we will add the first name and we see the first names are available then the last name and finally the salary and we will make this a little bigger and that's our first tabular view of the data. Next, we are going to add a pie chart to show us the sum of salaries grouped by each of these departments to find out which department is actually paying the maximum salary to their employees. So we will click on this pie chart and, and if you see that immediately our table view has changed to a pie chart in fact it was a mistake and when one of the visual is already selected if you click on any of the other visuals here your original visual will change the type to that particular type which you have just selected so don't do that i will just undo it and we go back to our table view click outside of this table so that we can add a new visual so this pie chart is available and here we will add our information because we want to see the sum of the salary grouped by each of the departments. So first, our legend will be added here as department and the values will be salary. By default, Power BI is going to sum up all the salaries in each of the department. And if we increase the size, we can see that which slice has the biggest size and it is the IT which is paying the maximum salary as 38,500. Next, we are going to add a filter. A filter is nothing but, say, if you want to see the information related to accounts department or, say, IT department, that way you can select only the relevant data. And to do that, again, we'll click outside of any of these visuals, like in the canvas. Then we will add this slicer here. And it adds one slicer and this is going to work as our filter. So what we want to filter here is the department. So select the department here and the department's information are available. And now you can see that say if we want to select the data only from accounts department, select the accounts and you can see that the employees now displayed there are only belonging to the accounts department. And also this pie chart has changed to a complete circle which is showing us information only related to accounts department. Now, if you want to select another department along with accounts, you have to select using control, then click on the other one. And we see that the accounts and admin both are selected. And now we can see the relevant information. And also the pie chart has changed to two slices now. Now we'll make some room for another visual. We'll take it to the rightmost and put the filter at the top left corner and then we'll also increase the size of this pie chart now i'm going to add another graphical visual here which will tell us the employees which are getting the maximum salary or they are shown they will be shown in an order of their salary we are going to add this ribbon chart click on that and it has added one ribbon chart there. Let's increase the size. 
and in the x axis we will put the last name and in the y axis we are going to put the sum of salary let's see what it's going to give us and we see that now the salaries are ordered in the descending order and we can see that the person with the last name case is getting the maximum salary and the one with the last name Damon has the second highest salary from these two departments now let's unselect when nothing is selected in the filter by default it is selecting all of them so now we can see that the person with the last name Lopez has the maximum salary of 20,500 but this is incorrect information why because you see there are actually two persons with the name Lopez in their last name and it is showing the sum of the salary but we don't want that and actually we want a single employee to be shown in each of these ribbons and to do that what we are going to do we are going to add one column here and which is going to be actually a calculated column and the reason why we are going to do that is we have the first name and last name as two different fields in our table and because of that two persons with the last name Lopez are actually considered to sum up their salaries here and we don't want that so to add a column what we are going to do we will click on these three dots here and we will select this new column and that will give us the option to create the new column here and we will change the name to say full name that equals to our first name select this if you type in the first few letters power bi is automatically going to suggest you the relevant fields and then then one double quote space another double quote to and close the space in between then another ampersand and here we are going to add the last name so this is our field from employees table we will select it and we have to change the data type here to text press enter and we see that the full name field is added there and this is a calculated field or column and it was not there in the original data model now what we are going to do in this ribbon chart we are going to simply replace our last name with the full name here and that is going to solve our problem now we can see that the person with the name Nicholas Case has the highest salary and the second highest is the Bruce Lee third highest is the Chris Lopez etc etc now to make it more relevant we are going to add some more information here for example each of this ribbon will have their relevant value at the top how we are going to do that we selected our ribbon chart go to this format your visual then click on the this data levels option and we turned it on and we can see that the values are coming but it is in the middle and we can change it if we want first of all your position will be there are a couple of options there inside in inside center inside base so we can put it like inside end and that brings it to the top of the ribbon and now we can put some conditional formatting something like if the salary is more than 10,000 then that will be represented as an orange color and if it is between 8,000 to 10,000 that will be in a green color and below 8,000 suppose it's in blue color so how to do that to do that we will go to this ribbons options under the visuals and here if you see there is a conditional formatting next to the default color so that conditional formatting will give us the options to set the color as per their values so we'll click on this fx and we will select the options like formatting style will be rules and the sum of the salary don't worry even if it is sum of the salary but it's within the individual employee so it's not going to change the value now if the value is greater than equal to 
zero number and less than say eight thousand number then it is going to be represented with blue color then add a new rule next if the value is greater than or equal to 8000 number and less than 10,000 number then it will be represented in a green color to select the green color which is not available in the default screen we will click on this more colors and we will drag this slider then we'll click on this green color area and then click outside and it will take the green color now add a new rule and this will be say if the value is greater than or equal to 10,000 number less than we will simply delete this zero there and that will take a maximum value which don't we don't have to define and then say it will be represented with an orange color so drag this slider click on this orange area click outside and it is selected now click there and we can see that the color has changed and now simply looking at the ribbons we can say that there are five employees or six employees getting more than ten thousand dollars in salary per month and four employees between eight to ten and two employees below eight thousand and to make the report a little nicer we will change the background just click on any empty area and then go to the format your report page this option click on the canvas background and we will make it black and the transparency will be zero now we can see the visuals are more distinctly displayed and if we want to change the title of this ribbon chart we can do that by simply selecting it then go to this general tab click on the title to get the title options and we'll simply put employee by salary and also we can add a title or header to this entire report here simply click on this text box here that will bring a text box to the canvas and we will take it to the top increase the width reduce the height and then go to its properties and we will turn on the title and put a title like say employee salary data and then we will change the font to say something better our text color will be white background color will be no fill and then we'll go to another option that is the effects and we will make it 100 percent transparent and then also we need to align the header in centers and also increase the size a little and that completes our analytical report now we need to save this report click on the save button here at the top left corner and i will save it in my project folder you can give any name of your choice i will just put it like power bi mysql and the extension it is going to take is the pbix this pbix file is in portable format and can be copied to other machine and open there using another power bi installation now if you want to publish this report in your enterprise level you can do so by clicking in this publish button but in the desktop version of this software this publishing option is not available it has to be professional license for this software to publish your work at your organization level but for learning purpose this software is free so I would say learn this software as much as you can and build your career in the field of data analytics. So viewers, please provide your feedback in the comments section of the video and hit the like button if you found it useful. That will mean a lot to me and help grow this channel.